All right, hey guys, we're looking at another severe weather day today across the South. Plus, check this out, a decent cold snap, May cold snap that is, for the East and also across the Great Lakes as we head through the weekend. So let's first talk about our severe weather risk today. Mainly, we're looking at the South, really middle and southern Georgia, over to Alabama, Mississippi, Louisiana, southern parts of Arkansas and Texas, and also up along the East Coast too, parts of Maryland, the Delmarva over toward the East Coast of Virginia, really from central Virginia too, you could argue, and a marginal risk back across West Virginia, Ohio, and Kentucky. So some storms here possible this afternoon, but across the South, things really pick up from North Carolina, South Carolina, and then again across the deep South, with those strong to severe storms where there could be, yes, a few tornadoes today. The highest risk will be in the deep south, but keep an eye on the storms across the mid-Atlantic. It's not a zero threat here. Not only are we going to see the, the uh, tornado chance, but look at the uh, the hail risk. Highest across the south, but Texas, specifically parts of Arkansas, Louisiana, and East Texas, and maybe even back to central Texas, too, with those strong updrafts. There could be uh, uh, some decent hail, and it could be pretty big too. That could cause some severe damage, giant hail in a few cases, and we've seen that over the last couple of days. And then, of course, with the severe weather comes the decent risk for some damaging winds, and that highest threat will be across the deep south here as well. So really, I think there's going to be two waves of storms. We've got these going over the morning hours from Alabama to Georgia, South Carolina, some tornadoes possible with these damaging winds and hail. Showers up across Ohio and Indiana. Those here at first likely won't be widespread severe, but these here will continue to get strong as they push off to the south. So now we're looking at uh, down into southern Georgia, Valdosta, getting very close to Jacksonville, Florida, and then moving off the coast of South Carolina. Then as we head into the afternoon, more storms will likely fire up along our boundary here. So from southern Mississippi, southern Alabama, and again across southern Georgia. So we could see two hits of storms from Albany over to Montgomery and then back across southern Mississippi and also Louisiana as we head into the afternoon and overnight hours too. Now we're at the 3, 4, 5 a.m. And this would be our severe weather threat into early Friday morning moving east right along the Gulf Coast, the I-10 corridor pushing over toward Panama City and then into Florida as we move into Friday morning and then Friday afternoon kind of pushing south uh, across the Sunshine State. Again, our risk across the northeast will be right in this area, at least through the afternoon hours. Storms starting to pick up across Ohio, say from Dayton, then down to Huntington, Charleston, across northern parts of West Virginia, Clarksburg, over toward Elkins, and then eventually pushing south into Virginia, so Charlottesville, down to Lynchburg, Richmond, north to D.C., maybe even southern parts of Pennsylvania. Now we're pushing into Maryland as we move into the evening hours, so 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, getting very close to the Delmarva, moving close to the Jersey Shore, and then down along the eastern shore of Virginia, and then that pushes offshore. This back here doesn't look severe, but it will be showery, kind of damp, and cool as we head into Friday. That sort of sets our weekend set up as we uh, move toward the weekend on Friday. All right, across the south, the highest risk for tornadoes, again, here, uh, as we see our significant tornado parameter pretty high. So the ingredients are there. We've got the wind shear. We're going to have the instability, too. And then as we head into the afternoon and evening hours, you know, I don't know about tornadoes in this area, but the significant tornado parameter showing that it may be a little bit favorable here. But then as we head into tomorrow, the big risk starts to pick up here along southern Georgia, southern Alabama, and then, yes, even parts of northern Florida as that complex of storms moves through. I talked about the instability. Look at these dew points. Dew points in the mid-70s in some cases across the deep south. A good widespread area of 70s as we head into the afternoon. Not quite as high here across Virginia, Ohio, and West Virginia, but we're still talking about sticky dew points in the 60s, so plenty of energy out there. And then here comes that push of drier and colder air that will set up as we head into the weekend. Here's a look at your air temperatures. Waking up on Friday morning, it is going to be cold, arguably, across northern parts of Wisconsin. Low 30s in some cases, maybe some frost in these areas. Very cold across the Rockies. Temperatures probably not getting above freezing in the higher elevations. But we warm up nicely here across the plains with that strong May sun as we head into the afternoon. Across the east... Starting off cool Friday morning across, again, the Great Lakes, 30s and 40s here. Even parts of northern New England will be in the 30s. But as we head into Friday, here that cold air continues to move in. High temperatures likely not getting out of the 40s here from New York down into Pennsylvania. 
and then even into Virginia and West Virginia in the mountains here. But that's mainly because we'll see a lot of cloud cover. And then as we head into Saturday morning, a cold start for many areas. We're looking at 40s across the south and even some 30s here into the mountains. High temperature Saturday, a little warmer really from here south. We're talking about 50s and 60s. 70s really get pushed all the way down into really South Carolina and the deep south. But look at this. Temperatures here across the northeast with the clouds and the showers around likely stuck in the 40s and 50s. And that will persist at least into Sunday for far northern areas. A little bit warmer for, say, Ohio over to Pennsylvania. We're back into the 60s. But another cool day for Boston and New York. 50s, 40s for interior areas. Cool and damp. But as we head into Monday, temperatures finally do start to warm up some. where We rebound back up uh, at least into the 60s in some of these areas. All right, after this, what happens? Well, we've got the rain today in the showers, Friday. Now let's look at Saturday. There comes those showers across the northeast into the Great Lakes and that cool shot of air. Our next system starts to get organized back here across Texas, Oklahoma, and Kansas. That will bring some thunderstorms here across the south. At this point, it doesn't look super severe. You don't see a strong negatively tilted trough, but... Uh, we could be dealing with some thunderstorms. That'll be something to watch early next week. And then as we head toward Tuesday and Wednesday, that all starts to push off to the east. And then look, another storm back across the Rockies. So very active over the next couple of days as we move through May. All right, that's all I got. See you next time.